Hello and welcome to Camp Life Bushcraft. Uh, I'm out in the woods with Buddy Neil, a um, friend of mine, and uh, we're just out for a night cooking, eating, drinking beer. Um, it's It's been 30 degrees today, which is super hot. We're, um, we're in a deciduous woodland and we're sweating. Yeah. We're going to cook on a fire, but I'm going to do a Dakota fire pit and then lay a grill across the top so that there's sort of minimal risk of fire spreading. I'll dig it quite deep and I'll do like an upside down fire in there. Um, and we'll use that. We've got some burgers and sausages and things. I'll put my grill across the top and we'll cook on that and then we'll let it go out because we don't need it. We are scorchingly hot. And for shelter tonight, I've, I've no idea what I'm doing because uh, I was given by a, um, a military man or an ex-military man a, um, a British Army sort of mosquito net and so rather than bring a tent or a tarp or anything I thought I'll bring that. I bought a sheet of tarp that's that's uh, not quite as big as me but I'm just going to put that on the ground and sleep on top of that and then I've got to find a way of putting a mosquito net over myself um, just to keep the bugs off and then hopefully I'll get a nice view up above me but uh, first things first I'm gonna prepare the fire pit while uh, Neil sets up his bits and bobs and then I think he's gonna cook on the fire while I fiddle about with the mosquito net try and figure that out so uh, yeah I'm gonna get on Neil's staying in luxury pop-up tent. How much was it? 30 quid from Amazon. Uh, right? 30, 30 pounds. It's meant to be a four man, but I don't think you'll fit four men in there. No, four very small men. <laughs> yeah, these are quite good. It, it, it folds up, straps on his back, and then he takes it out of the wrapper and just throws it on the floor and it pops up, which I did mean to film, but uh, he did it too quick. But uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. So I cleared all this leaf litter away and underneath the ground is still wet from the rain we've heard. Oh god. Key is don't tread on the middle bit. It's tunnel. So I'm sure most of you would know what a D Dakota fire pit is, but for those that don't, um, it's a kind of a stealth fire. needs oxygen in order to, to burn properly so if you dig a big hole for a fire to go in it won't burn properly so by digging these two holes and having a tunnel through the air needed for the fire in one pit pulled in through the other pit So I've measured the pit and it's 
It's that wide. So if I an upside down fire, what I mean is I'm putting the big logs in the bottom and then I'm going to put smaller and smaller logs until we get to the top. And this creates a, a near sort of smokeless fire. Because to my knowledge, smoke is caused by the sort of the excess wood on top sort of not having burnt been combusted yet. So by having the smallest stuff on the top, you've got a minimal amount of non-burnt wood at the top of the fire. Therefore you get much less smoke, which means which adds to the stealthy uh, aspect of things. So the for the so the flames are down in the hole and there's minimal smoke coming out. Therefore your fire's not really seen from a distance. You'll only see it when you get up close. Okay, so the fire's ready. And into my magic pouch. Somewhere in here. cotton wool makeup pad with Vaseline and we'll drop one of them on top. These are makeup pads with Vaseline in them. Just gonna put them in the middle of the fire like that. Hopefully, that will catch and burn in a downward direction. The fire is here. And can you see it from there? Maybe a little bit. How many paces are you? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. About ten paces away. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Give us a wave, Neil. <coughs> right, let's do some shelter building. I think I'm going to sleep round about here. Pardon me. So I'm just going to clear off the spiky stuff and then we'll play with the mosquito net. Right, so the. How high are you going to be? I don't know. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm just tying a ridge line. I don't know how high because I don't know what I'm doing. Be long enough. It's not, is it? So, I've got this bit of paracord and that's it. Let's see what we can do. Right, so, I'm gonna be as sparing as I can. You can do it. Just a lot. We'll put it tight for it. Can you pull that so it's straight? Just twist it round the tree so it's straight towards me.
do. That much paracord to spare. And this is the thing that I was given. So there's my bed. Looks mighty comfy. Probably better off diagonal, isn't it? longer. So, I believe this to be a mosquito net for a military cot bed. This is four posts in here which slot in the four corners of the bed and then the mosquito not direct mosquito net drapes over and gets tucked under the sleeping bag part but obviously I haven't got a, a military bed so we'll just make something up there's all sorts of ties on here Just tie it on the top. Figure out how to. Yeah. You almost need to just like spread out like that, don't you? Yeah, well, I'll, I'll get the posts that came with it. See what we can do about them. Yeah, just. Based, doesn't it? Yeah. That is only just to touch the floor that way. Yeah. Oh. We can we can play with it. Let's see what these are like. I wonder. Just drive them in the ground. Just sort of hang it. <laughs> it's looking comfy. Yeah, the thing is, it's not like an opening this side. Yeah, so I'm not, I'm not too worried. Right, we can pull it round and sort of fold that over anyway. Chopping board as well, luxury. What do you reckon? Comfy looking? Hmm. <laughs> oh. It's alright in here. Yeah. It's a bit short. I might just move the posts out a touch, make it a bit longer. I'll bring this side in. It's thinner at this end, and that way might close up a bit more.
monstrosity. I got an ouch. Got a knife. over. Tuck that on. That's it. Bedroom. Bedroom sorted. Burgers are cooking. I can hear the sizzling. Not bad. Not bad. Uh. Cheers. Up here. Yeah. Oh, oh, blimey. <sighs> Hungry now. Uh, probably not too far from being ready for the way they've been inflamed. Yeah. <laughs> so got burgers. Down, they were like that. Yeah, they always do. About half the size, man. <sighs> so we've got burgers, we've got some cheese, some some lettuce. There's some sausages in that pack. Ketchup. Jobs are good. Put your own lettuce in, shall I? Uh, put about what you've got there. I'll yeah. have that. I don't mind lettuce. Alright, if you chuck those burgers in, I'll chuck these other two on. Okay. Don't drop them. One. Oh, well done. Hmm. Need this. <laughs> So we've eaten our burgers, they were pretty tasty. Yeah, so one of the reasons Neil wanted to come out with me was because um, he's bought himself a metal detector. So he's just gone to go and get it and he wants to have a go, walking around the woods, see if he can detect any metal. Um, I believe there was a prisoner of war camp just in the field nearby where we are. So we're going to have a little play with that and um, if anything eventful happens, I'll switch the camera on. But otherwise, I'll be back at bedtime. Oh, it's still really muggy. Yeah. Cool. See you in a bit. Well, it's 10 o'clock at night. We went out, did a little bit of metal detecting. All we found was Neil's car. 
Um, yeah, out in the field there wasn't much, wasn't much joy. Um, I think it needs a, a proper place, you know, a place where a beach or um, what do we say, like an old, you know, where we know there's been a Roman fort or something. Um, yeah. But yeah, just wandering around a farmer's field is um, is a bit aimless. But uh, yeah, and we're back, and uh, it's dark, and we just cook some sausages in a roll, and then it's bedtime. So yeah. Why well, hot? Beautiful sunset tonight. Mm, it was. These are less gritty than my burger. <laughs> my, <laughs> my second burger got dropped in the fire. <laughs> it was crunchy. Mmm. Jesus, this is hot. Yeah, bugs are out. I'm glad I got a bug neck. Right, time for bed. them up and then bag on them. That's probably the way to do it. And then somewhere in here there it is. A pillow. Mosquito in here. Must have come in with me. Never mind. I tell you, it's really hot still. <sighs> I reckon it's 20 degrees still. I'm sweating. Well, <sighs> wish me luck. Pretty cool. Right. <sighs> I think I'll be quite comfy. As long as it doesn't rain, we're all good. Good night. Really well. It was awesome waking up. And I sort of opened my eyes and looked up and got all the leaves with the first rays of sun coming through. Oh yeah, yeah, excuse me. Yeah, really cool, really cool. This held up okay. I was bug free. And I say it was it was 30 degrees yesterday thereabouts and it was muggy 
you know, we went out on the field to have a look at Neil's metal detector and, um, you know, we come back in and we were sweating. And I laid down last night, the shirt was wet. Um, I hung it up over the fire for a little bit because we cooked them sausages. And so I hung my shirt over the fire to try and dry it off. It was still a bit damp when I went to bed. And, uh, you know, I was hot. When I got in my sleeping bag, I was still hot. But pardon me, I woke up this morning and it's just lovely and fresh. It's a little tiny breeze, it's coming straight through. And I think, you know, when it's hot and you're at home, it's just, it's unbearable, isn't it? You get in bed and it's just boiling in your room. But uh, it was really, really pleasant out here. So I'm glad, I'm glad I thought I'd try this out. I made the ridge line for this uh, about as high as my chin. And last night, I was walking past this, I nearly grotted myself on it. So I hung the uh, the bag and the stuff sack that this uh, mosquito net came in over the ridge line to stop me from doing it again because the bit of paracord I had was black and it was dark. And uh, yeah, you couldn't see it. So I hung stuff over it. But yeah, I'm going to get up in a minute and uh, get the fire going again. And make some coffee and a bit of breakfast. Neil's still snoring away in his tent. So I'm going to kick the side of his tent in a minute. Uh, yeah. Very cool. It's time to get breakfast organised. I'm not sure what the time is. I think it's getting on for eight o'clock. So it's been a bit of a lie in this morning. But getting hungry, so gonna get the fire pit sorted out. That was what we cooked on last night. It's quite pretty in the in the one where the fire was. And this sort of sandy soil changes colour. I like it. Yeah, just gonna put some fresh wood in there. Nothing major, just some twigs and stuff and light it up and get hot water on cook some bacon. Just got these bits to make a base. Yeah, it's 
about eight o'clock, I think. Huh? It's about eight o'clock. Yeah. Not bad. I always forget this knife has a fur rod on the handle and I, uh, I don't know what I've done with my big one so this is my emergency backup. some of the crap off it before I cook on it. Get some coffee going as well. Muffins, some cheese somewhere. Oh, careful. Ow. Oh, look at that. <coughs> <coughs> Gorgeous. Oh. There you go. Cheers. <laughs> well, that's breakfast. Neil's just packed his. Uh, pop-up tent away which uh, I think they're very easy to put up and a little bit tricky to put away aren't they? Uh, you look... the mmm I'm going to eat this and pack up my mosquito net and then clear up and we're heading away this is good This was the military issue bug net. Just like to say thanks to a chap called Gimp um, for giving this to me. Very kind, very useful. Thank you.
So that's where I slept. That's where Neil slept. And this is where we did the cooking. So we're all packed up. The woodland is returned as we found it. Thanks very much for watching and uh, I'll see you again soon. See you later, thank you.